Most people assume that in the U.S. destructive earthquakes only occur in the western states. They are wrong. St. Louis, Missouri is actually located near the most active seismic zone east of the Rocky Mountains. This puts the Gateway City and a population of nearly two million in the crosshairs of a devastating shaker. Just 150 miles south of the city and 15 miles beneath the Earth's surface lies the new Madrid Fault, ready to deliver an eight-point earthquake that will topple buildings, buckle highways, destroy bridges, and create a mega-disaster across the region. Casualties could number more than 10,000. And it's not just St. Louis. Memphis, Tennessee will be affected by this same fault. The U.S. Geological Survey has recently conducted very comprehensive surveys of both of these. They're both very dangerous places, and the administrations in both of those cities don't want to know. Nearly 200 years ago, people in this region had first-hand experience with not just one, but a series of monster quakes. The United States Geological Survey has plotted worldwide earthquakes from the last 50 years. A great majority of them fall into a predictable pattern. Most earthquakes in the world occur along plate boundaries, where two tectonic plates are moving past one another, and as they try to move, the rocks resist until they break and you have earthquakes. But there is an active earthquake area located in southeastern Missouri on the banks of the Mississippi. The New Madrid Seismic Zone. 4,000 earthquakes registered here over the last 20 years, and no one knows exactly why. The theory of plate tectonics provides an excellent explanation as to why we have earthquakes over most of the world. But it doesn't explain why we have earthquakes right in the middle of a plate. It violates what the theory would suggest. Though not part of a plate boundary, there is some evidence that there may be an ancient fault line under New Madrid, now buried beneath 3,000 feet of Mississippi sediment. This entire part of the United States is under compression from essentially the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the pressure of that pushing all the way through this area. We know for a fact that underneath this area lies an ancient rift, a major fault system that is 600 million years old. These faults have been activated various times through history and have recently turned on. Scientists are in a desperate race to discover when the New Madrid Fault will erupt with a new series of earthquakes. The problem today is that what was hitherto an unpopulated part of America is now very populated. And there are two cities that are most at risk. One is Memphis to the south and one is St. Louis to the north. And between these cities today lies a complex network of roads, bridges, and communication links. The geologic clock is ticking for New Madrid. Crisscrossing faults could erupt in a massive quake that would make the 1811 and 12 shakers seem like a dress rehearsal. Yet questions still loom over the Midwest. When will another earthquake erupt? And will the residents be ready? With three-dimensional geologic mapping technology, Roy Van Arsdale has modeled this subterranean world, hoping to find some answers. Well, we're compiling all kinds of information that we can get in terms of uh, deep information. This first screen is a digital elevation model, which is basically a rendition of the topography of the region. We have the Mississippi River floodplain in view there. And in fact, uh, there's a little gold star that shows where we're sitting right now in Memphis, Tennessee. Using sound waves, scientists determine the composition of the rocks and subsoil. A geological snapshot of the terrain under the Mississippi sediments. This second layer is five miles below the surface. We're looking at what's called the Precambrian surface in these multicolored depiction. And what you can also see is that the 
Precambrian geology is broken by faults. That's what these planes are that displace that surface. And there are earthquakes occurring along these two particular faults. Uh, these faults are oriented in such a way that it looks like they are trending towards Memphis and Shelby County, the star in the model. So we expect that they probably do pass beneath uh, where we are right now. Next, they plot onto the geography the locations of earthquakes in the region since 1995. There have been earthquakes occurring over a long period of time, but these are the earthquakes that are well located. With the earthquakes in this uh, pseudo 3D projection, uh, they look like a shotgun blast until you rotate the model. You can see that the earthquakes align themselves along a plane. What you're looking at now is the real foot fault, and the earthquakes are popping off along that fault plane. There it is, the killer fault people want to ignore. Pretty small, just 149 miles long compared to the San Andreas Fault that stretches more than 700 miles. But it packs a devastating punch because seismic waves travel easily through Midwest bedrock. Seismic intensity maps of the 1811 event show destructive shaking in each of these quakes, stretching for more than 350 miles from the epicenters on the New Madrid fault line. Clearly, the New Madrid earthquakes were big events, and they were felt all the way to the Atlantic seaboard, and they really rocked the whole mid-continent. That makes them big, potentially damaging events and the kind of quakes that we 